Wow, this suit is heavy. It's because you've been eating too many donuts. What up, big kids? Here's your big review. The Avengers Age of Ultron Comic Cave Studios Iron Man Mark 43 Omni Class 112 Scale Collectible Figure. I want to thank Comic Cave Studios for sending out this review. Make sure to check out their website, Comic Cave Studios. Like them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter and Instagram. So here we got the new packaging for their Omni Class. I really like it. It really reminds me of Apple's kind of packaging. It has a really nice picture of the Mark 43 right there, Comic Cave Studios. It has the nice Iron Man Mark 43 Omni Class 112 Scale. On the back here, it shows all the details, like sending. 5% die cast mail, LED lights, articulate more than 20 points, playable pose with other figures, mobile take anywhere with you. I like how it has this little piece right here where you can open up, has magnets right here. You can open up to see everything that's included with the figure and a little quick start guide of where things go and how to pose things. Out of the packaging, this is everything you get with the figure. I'm really loving the paint apps in detail. This figure looks absolutely amazing. It looks like a 112 scale hot toy for how well the craftsmanship, the paint, and the detail. I just love all the silver and the gold all around even the bits with the armpits there's just some really nice detail all the way around and yeah you can definitely feel the die cast especially in the leg definitely 75% die cast a lot of heft to this figure all the bits right here just look so freaking cool it has a little pop out little bits that I didn't think that they would have on a figure this size which is just so great to see on the legs you even have some pop out panels to make it for uh, the flight poses it's both on the lower part and the upper part of the leg. Nice silver detail underneath the panels too, which I really like. So you can pose these in different ways. They're actually on both sides of the leg, so you have so many panels that open up. You even have these back panels that open up too for uh, flight poses, which is just so awesome. Another cool action feature is that there's a little switch here, which they include the batteries. You flip it on. It actually has light up eyes and light up arc reactor, which is nice and bright. I'm really happy with how bright it looks. It looks so freaking cool. No light up hands but you know considering how small this figure is it would be really hard to do. Iron Man stands at slightly over six inches tall. It is a little bit taller compared to the Marvel Legends Captain America but not as tall as the Mark 46 Iron Man. For articulation Iron Man's head can fully rotate. It can go back that much. It can go down that much. It has two like little neck joints when it goes side to side. It has a little bit of neck pivot. He has this springy uh, shoulder pads that have little two points. You can actually move them quite a bit to make the shoulder joints a little bit more articulated. He has like this armpit joint in and out that way. can fully rotate his arm and can go in and out that way. You just move the shoulder pad around. He rotates at the bicep, bends at two points at the elbow, rotate the wrist as well as go in and out. He has an upper ab crunch forward and back, can uh, move a little bit left and right. He also has this ab crunch which is great and uh, that kind of moves left and right too. His legs move forward and back that much because of this nice like wide joint that can move out. You can do the splits, rotate the part of the leg, bend at two points at the knee and his ankles can pivot forward and back he can fully rotate as ankle pivot side to side these flaps open up all these flaps that i showed before and he has toe articulation iron man comes with five pairs of hands the pair of fists that come on the figure he comes with a pair of flight repulsor hands he comes with a pair of shooting repulsor hands pulsar blast hands that work with the add-on blast effects and he comes with a pair of like grabbing hands i guess for holding things but i don't know what iron man comes with two pairs of blast effects one are meant for the repulsor blast hands. They have this really nice yellow and orange translucent plastic. I really like them. They're a little uh, sharp, so watch out for that. And he also has a pair for his feet that you uh, plug on. And there you got Iron Man with his blast effects. Looks really awesome. The only bad thing is he doesn't come with a stand, but if you have a stand, this is a great way to display him. Iron Man also comes with a pair of shoulder cannons that you could plug into his shoulders. You just move up the shoulder pad and you see a little hole which you would just slide it into. So once you get him in, this is what it looks like. It takes a little finagling to get it just right and it probably looks best if you have the uh, hands out for repulsor blast but still it's a really cool option that a uh, comic cave included and the last accessory is this interchangeable wrist rocket you can put for the left hand only a left hand sadly but you just remove this little flap right here and then you just tab it in and there we got iron man with his wrist rocket deployed overall i'm really impressed with comic cave studios omni class figures i really love the die cast on there i love that they have a light up feature all the accessories with the interchangeable hands shoulder cannons and the blast effects just gives you an overall great value. The only thing I wish it did come with a flight stand but besides that there's nothing really bad I can say with the figure. You can buy this right now at Comic Cave Studios website for $115 as well as other retailers like Big Bad Toy Store. 
I definitely recommend it for the amount of die cast, all the accessories, the light up feature. I think it's overall value and I highly recommend it. For more, check out my website, seanlakeslong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, Mayor Live Long and Love Life. Well, everyone, that was a blast, but you're fired. Your puns suck. No, you suck. Come on, Red, let's go. Uncle Owen, this R2 unit has a bad motivator, look!